Tried to install some tools. There were some issues with those. Visited this uh, center for medical imaging and visualization. They have some interesting CT scanner. It works on different energy levels. Calcification inside veins and bones may have similar value. And the data that we get from that scanner that may be useful to segment those easily. It was done with the seminar here yesterday. Did they give a full length talk or some background about multivariate? Then two main words. That happens here also, so criminals can enter in government. Yes. <laughs> Such things are very common in India, say that type of politics, religion based, caste based. I thought it is not so popular outside. What other uh, things do they say other than this immigrant? I think right now there's a lot of gang crimes, which is kind of related to the immigration. They have not been supported, so there's no future. Mm. They have to get money by other means. Second generation of immigrants, whether they become Swedish. No, they're all Swedish. Their parents came from outside. Yeah. What support does Swedish government give to anyone who is not able to earn enough? A lot of people that come here are not qualified to do Mm -hmm. their own kind of line of work. Our education is not compatible for other countries that are having doctors, mm -hmm. but they can't like verify, so they can't start practicing medicine here. Mm -hmm. Then actually question comes, why would I even go to some country where my education is not recognized? <laughs> Going to some place where I'm again back to zero, <laughs> it does not make sense. Is there any criteria to be in politics here? You have to have a voting right to be able to be a politician, it feels like. But it's mm -hmm. very difficult to not have a voting right. Yes, mm -hmm. leave it five years and you get it. Oh. You don't even have to be a Swedish citizen to vote. In oh, okay. Party. In that case, the party who is raising against immigrants, won't they suffer because immigrants also have voting rights? Yeah. yeah. And but they're it's, not... Yeah, not uh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're Actually, in India, what I criticize is why you are not able to solve problems. I never see a good enough practical, logical reason that you cannot solve this problem. Individuals, mostly they have to be directed to solve a major big problem. Every individual has to be unified and that I feel is the thought process that government should have, how we can involve population in this thing. Next is government has so much authority, say prime minister. He has all the researchers, scientists under him. He can use all that brain to solve very hard problems of the country and I don't feel they are like some NP hard problems which cannot be solved. And even here you are telling that they don't have a plan which surprises me why it happens those who keep getting elected are those who are good at getting elected mm. not those who are necessarily good at true what kind of system do you have in india do you have similar to america one president or do you have parties or how does it work there are parties president is independent of the parties president doesn't have too much powers prime minister has president yeah. comes into picture when <laughs> some emergency situation happens or some rights someone is given death sentence he can revoke that death sentence some limited rights he has otherwise he just represents the country so very good president i hardly see any criticism against him was a pj abdul kalam he was a scientist what are the main political questions right now? Get votes by raising religious issues. But other than that, there are a lot of, lot of issues. Increasing prices, employment. There is a wide range of economic hierarchy in India. From very bottom poor till it's super, super rich. Like the super rich are known as world fifth, sixth, like that. Bottom most is who are begging on signals. Majorly issues are about survival. Give enough employment and job options and enough money to survive for people. But those issues are so hard to tackle. Reason being population and second even if something is given for free to the people say at below a certain poverty level you are given this facility. They sell that facility to get money and they again go back to their previous thing. Interesting problems. Yeah. Very different from ours. India is such a big production house for things. It's hard in terms of electricity production in terms of resources, food, everything is homegrown. Geography is very varied. Every type of thing you can grow. Tea to apples. Natural resources are in abundance, but uh, again, I feel that they are not able to use those resources. Plenty of rivers. They don't depend on, say, rain directly coming from mountains. 
even water is not a big trouble anywhere in India. In terms of um, education, because population is so high, there is very, very tough competition. You have to compete against so many to get into a good institute. From very low level, we have to start preparing for that exam. In research, okay, uh, we were ranked one because of this metric citations per faculty, but we are not known globally for a few reasons. One is we don't have an international footprint because we cannot allow international students. Reason is an Indian student struggles so hard to get to one seat in that institute. We cannot give it. Uh, it is like you dream to be an engineer, but it, there is no surety that you will be an engineer. <laughs> you may end up doing something else. <laughs> On the nearby atoms or nearby locations of copper, sure, we can observe that donor behavior because mm -hmm. it is in vicinity of copper. The moment you try explaining your qualification, the other person will ask, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Similar situation in India, either wealthy families mm -hmm. or they sell something if they can arrange loan, education loan. That's why if you get admission in a government college in India, it's like, okay, you are very lucky and you are very hardworking. IIT is a big exam for us to enter college, at least who want to go for engineering. And we are evaluated on physics, chemistry, maths. I never liked chemistry. <laughs> yeah, I also scored the worst in chemistry. I, That's the only reason I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I could not, I could not clear chemistry cut off. My physics and maths were very good, but I could not clear, I think, by three or four marks. And I did not know that I'll be working with a chemist. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, too far away. <laughs> uh, Physics, maths versus chemistry, this is the issue. People who don't like to memorize, they hate yeah. chemistry. S block, P block, D block, <laughs> that mentally stable or something. Uh, properties of each element, oh, those nonsense, I hate it. <laughs> yeah. True, yeah, it's much more about memorizing in chemistry. First is biology. Biology, biology again. Yeah. yeah. So, and it's same for doctors. Yeah. My mother wanted me to be a doctor, but I cannot handle biology. <laughs> <laughs> My complaint with the system was, I like programming even 11, 12. Why are you not evaluating me on that? Why physics, chemistry, math? Mm. <laughs> so everyone had to do physics, chemistry, math. For engineering, it's physics, chemistry, maths. Oh, right. And for medical, it is chemistry, physics, and biology. Some extraordinary people, they choose all four in school, physics, chemistry, maths, biology, so that they have both the options open. Mm, mm. <laughs> सवा पांच हुए हैं फटाफट अब धनो निकालता हूँ और जिम चलते हैं थोड़ा सा वर्कआउट करेंगे अच्छा सा कल परसों वीकेंड है मेरा इधर चीजें देखने का हल्का प्लान बनाया मैं प्री प्लान जनरली करता नहीं हूँ टेंटेटिव सा प्लान बनाया कि होपफुली मैं वो चीजें कर लूंगा एक इवेंट बुक भी कर दिया है तो वहाँ तो देखो जाना ही पड़ेगा क्योंकि पैसा बहुत लगा है <laughs> Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you.